Hey, Kansas City, I've got Tim Locke here. Tim, thank you for joining us today, my man. Thanks for having us. So Tim is founder of Supporting Kids Foundation, and we've just been chatting a little bit, learning about what's going on this year. Um, we're blessed, and it's, it's a big, um, big deal for us to come out here and spotlight you guys for a second time. And so a lot's changing. Um, I know it's around the end of the year, and so you've got big news coming up. And what's coming up here in February? In February, we have our annual poker tournament at uh, Sporting Park. Um, this poker tournament started way back in the day when we were a very new organization um, out in Lenexa. I think we raised about 7,000 in that tournament. This tournament has turned into a, a couple hundred thousand dollar event. Um, it is an outstanding, if you like poker, if you like all the stuff that goes along with it, it is an amazing event. And we have, I would say 80% 80 80 or so return rate. People who came last year, like I gotta go. And it's unbelievable. I've been lucky enough to go out. Um, it is camaraderie, it's community, it's love, it's support. And at the end of the day, it's fundraising. And the main thing I wanna get out there, Supporting Kids Foundation, they help budget for cancer because no one budgets for cancer. And so that's something that's really, really big deal. Some of the stats um, that this organization has done just since 2009, they've literally brought in over 4.5, around $4.5 million. They've currently helped over 900 families, around 40, $900 per family. But one of the biggest stats that we were talking about today is, um, can you just talk about kind of where things have been in the past and yeah. what's occurring right now in Kansas City? We were at a fairly steady state for two or three years at around sending out forty to $45,000 a month in aid, which for an all-volunteer organization is a pretty big responsibility anyway. Uh, but since April, we've increased to an average of, uh, of over 80,000 a month. So, if you think about that, the output has doubled, but we haven't added more events. We haven't added, uh, uh, we haven't raised the prices of our events, but we still have that same obligation. And, um, and really, it was interesting because when we asked Children's Mercy, you know, what's the source? Because in June, we had exceeded the number of new families that we had helped from the previous year, over a hundred new families. Uh, which was a little bit odd for us. We reached out to say, well, what was the source and cause of that? And the social workers told us that the um, oncology doctors at Children's Mercy uh, had never seen this much of an influx in new patients. Um, so um, it's bad enough to begin with and with it growing and increasing, um, it just makes um, what everyone does to support us that much more important. And it's overwhelming. Um, everything I've gained here is it's extremely overwhelming. And so what that means is there's a bigger need. And so we're talking about what we can do for Supporting Kids Foundation. And really what it comes down to is finding more substantial donors. Um, right here in Kansas City, I know that there's been some unbelievable corporations, entities that constantly come in and support you guys. But if you know anyone at an executive level, at a corporate level, um, if you know anyone out there that just wants to make a difference, mm -hmm. please reach out to these guys. Um, where can they go to find more information about the golf tournament, your yearly events, fundraisers, volunteers, the whole you nine can, yards? You can go to supportingkids.org. Uh, or you can reach out to me directly, Tim Lock, Tim.lock here at supportingkids.org. But you can reach out to us directly. And I appreciate the plug because one of the things that some of our best donors uh, from a corporate standpoint and also from an individual standpoint appreciate about, appreciate about this organization uh, is really twofold. One is it's all volunteer. So all of the money that we've been talking about, the 4.5 million that's gone out over the last uh, 15 years, is done by people who are doing this on their free time. Um, the second thing that I think um, is attractive about our organization is that it's Kansas City based and you're generally an arm's length away from the people that you're helping. I can't tell you how many times somebody will come to our event and I'll ask, have you ever been to an event? And they're like, no, this is my first time. I've, I've never heard of you guys. And we start talking. And then about five minutes later, they're like, wait a minute, I think you helped my neighbor. And we did. And so I, I would, you know, when you've helped 900 families in this, this size community, it's, it's hard to find somebody that, that doesn't know someone that's been impacted and that we've helped. We need your help. Um, I know that it, he nailed it. Volunteer board, volunteer organization. Uh, I know this gentleman's been over here since 2009, running through walls for our kids and children and families. So let's go do that for him. Let's do that for all the kids out there. Thank you to all the organization, all the volunteers, everyone behind the scenes, and uh, thanks for letting us be a part of I it. I can't thank you enough and your team for doing this in the first place and then honoring us for the second time. It's fantastic. It's an honor. We'll see you at the... Remind me of the date. February 1st, 
Sporting Park. We always pick the weekend between the conference championship and the Super Bowl because we know we're going to be there anyway, so it's Chiefs hands. So we'll see you November 1st. Come say hi. I'll be there. Come say hi to Tim. Shake our hands. Give us a hug. And if you can't, share this video. Tell your friends. Tell your families. And if you're a family out there with a child in need, at the end of the day, most important part of Sporty Kids Foundation is they're here to help you. Make it a great day.